Hey guys, today is Summer One Fest, which means tons of figure announcements. In this video, I'll be going over my favourite 10 things announced or revealed today. First up is Fat Company's unpainted Hokusai prototype from Fate Grand Order. This is a really stunning sculpt. There's so much detail packed in there, which makes me super excited to see it coloured soon. Though I am less excited about the potential price tag she's going to end up with. It's been a year since she was first announced, but it really looks like Hokusai will be worth the wait. Next up is another Pokemon trainer from Kotobukiya, Elisa and Demolga. Super pumped for this since Elisa's black and white 2 design is one of my favourite trainer designs, and they're going all out with the base here too. Unfortunately she's going to be a Pokemon Center exclusive, which will make her a bit harder to track down, but she looks great nonetheless. Hubby Max revealed this colour prototype of Radio Eva Asuka, which I'm really liking the look of. I love the shading on the clothes, and the super casual vibe that this figure gives off. The only thing that bugs me is that her face looks kind of weird. I'm not sure if it's the angle or if it will be tweaked later on, but it could be a deal breaker for me. Other than that though, I like what I'm seeing. Good Smile Company revealed their scale Snow Princess Miku, which is absolutely stunning. The colouring and detail in this prototype is amazing, and every time I look at it, I find something new. GSC has really impressed me lately, and I'm interested to see where they will price this figure, since their 10th anniversary Miku ended up being prohibitively expensive. The biggest surprise for me was the announcement of a Bayonetta Nendoroid. GSC didn't reveal any prototype, or even chibi concept art, so I'm really intrigued as to how this is going to turn out. I prefer her character design from the second game, so I hope we either get another version, or it will get incorporated into this one somehow. Either way, super stoked that this is even happening. GSC also announced a bunch of Necropyro figures, with Chocolo receiving a Nendo, Figma, and Pop-Up Parade figure. While I'm not a fan of the visual novel, I do really like Chocolo's character design, and it's great to see the cast get some figures that aren't ludes. She looks perfect in Nendoroid form, and I'm eager to see her painted. I'm very, very happy that a Fuel in Nendoroid got announced. It was a pretty safe guess, but I wanted to wait for confirmation before pulling the trigger on getting Raptalia, and maybe Shield Bro. She doesn't have a prototype yet, but I'm hoping for a little Philoleal accessory, which would be super cute. This is the one announcement that I was hoping for going into One Fest, and I'm super glad that it happened. We also got an unpainted prototype of the Amaterasu Nendoroid, which is looking really cool. I like when GSC gets the opportunity to do something non-humanoid with the Nendoroid aesthetic, and I think Amaterasu has turned out great. Nendoroid Hibiki from How Heavy Are The Dumbbells You Lift also got announced. I love the energy they put into the concept art here, and it gives me a lot of confidence that they'll be able to successfully capture her charm in the final product. I hope this also means the other characters will get Nendos too eventually, and will end up with a ton of gym accessories. And finally, we saw the painted prototype for Tanjiro's Nandoroid. The colours are looking good, and I'm guessing we're going to get some really cool effect parts that will make for some killer action poses. Add in a couple of fun faceplates and accessories, and I think it'll be a really great release. Now we just need Zenitsu and Inosuke too. That's it for me this one first. Let me know if I missed a figure that you're really excited for. There's a good chance I'll be picking up any of these 10 figures, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my reviews. As always, thanks for watching, catch you again next time, bye!